after Apple gave their one last thing event, which we hope was actually the last thing, uh, it wasn't. They announced this thing. Um, I'm going to give you uh, the details regarding the AirPods Max, uh, and I'm going to let you know how much they cost, which get ready for it. It's bad. Let's get to it. Today, Apple released their AirPods Max. They are the newest set of headphones that Apple is selling. I don't know if you guys know, Apple is one of the biggest headphone sellers in the world to the point that I once read an article that said that if Apple decided to uh, take away the headphone division and turn it into its own company, it would be one of the biggest headphone companies in the world. That's how much they sell. Anyway, going back to the AirPods Max, the AirPods Max um, are uh, over-the-ear headphones that you can obviously see. Uh, they come in different colors. There's space gray, silver, not white, although everybody's going to call them white, uh, blue, green, and pink. Uh, Apple keeps throwing at us these pastel colors. I honestly don't like them. I'm sure there's people who do, but um, I don't know if that the amount of people that like pastel colors is that much for them to try to keep pushing the colors. I spoke of this in my iPad Air video um, where I'm, you know, the blue I'm, I'm okay with, but then again, I like the color blue. Uh, but aside from that, I don't like the green, I don't like the pink, um, and don't tell me that instead of pink, they could have gone, gone product red, and they would have looked really good. Anyways, these headphones will have the same processor as the AirPods Pro, so they will have spatial audio, which is where you turn your head, and depending on which direction your device, the device that you're watching is, if, for example, you're watching a movie or YouTube or whatever, uh, whichever device is closest to the headset, uh, or whichever side of the headphones are closest to that device, that will be where you will hear most of the sound coming from. I think that's more of a gimmick. I mean, in the case of these, um, they might work well for the Apple TV, uh, if they add the spatial audio feature to the Apple TV because I tried it with my AirPods Pro and it didn't work with the Apple TV. And if you guys haven't tried using your headphones with the Apple TV, you've got to do it. It's quite an experience. Um, it's simple and, and you know how Apple does it. It's, it's, it's very nice. Anyways, but then again, spending how much it, this thing costs, which I'm going to tell you later on, at it's way too much for you to just use it has, as headphones for your Apple TV. The headphones, the AirPods Max, will have uh, a digital crown. This is the first time the digital crown is being used for something other than the Apple Watch, at least for Apple. And the digital crown has been overwhelmed with things to do. Instead of them putting a uh, volume up, volume down button, and, you know, depending on what you need, adding buttons. They wanted to make it look so nice and so sleek that they gave every possible chore that they could give the Apple Watch. They gave it to it. You press it once, it plays, pauses, and answers calls. You tap it twice, uh, you press it twice, it skips forward a song. You press it three times, it skips back. You hold it and you get Siri. So it's a lot. And the volume. If you uh, rotate it, volume up or down. It's way too many things to do. I mean, I'm sure I wouldn't mind, and most people wouldn't mind, a button for volume up, a button for volume down. But then again, we've been asking since the original AirPods for, you know, if you make something that we can tap the headphone and play and pause, for you to make something that we can slide our fingers, volume up and down, but Apple has never pleased us, so I don't think they were gonna do it. They're, they're gonna do it. Uh, they were gonna do it with this headphones, and they're not gonna do it with the next. So, oh well. These headphones are exceedingly expensive. They will cost five hundred 
and $49. That is more than a PlayStation 5. So uh, you really got to think about it. And these headphones are made mostly or primarily for uh, people who work with audio. And the problem with that is that uh, they don't connect through cable to any device. They are Bluetooth 5, which is what they say that is the uh, equivalent to you connecting something to a cable. But if you ask any person that works with music, they're going to tell you that they prefer their headphones to plug in. Um, I really have not heard of one uh, person that actually works with music, creating music, or something like that, and they tell you, yeah, Bluetooth or, you know, Bluetooth or live or plugged in, it's, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter. Although, Bluetooth 5 does uh, state that it's going to be the lowest latency that there's ever been on Bluetooth headphones, and it's going to be basically none, or people are not going to be able to notice the difference. So, we'll see. Obviously, I'm not getting these headphones. These headphones are way too expensive for me. I'm paying, uh, I'm paying for Christmas gifts, and I'm still paying for this big, big boy. Uh, but uh, aside from that, when I first made uh, my video for the AirPods, it's in Spanish, so I'm still gonna link it up here if you guys want to watch it. Uh, I'm a person from the '90s. And we were told that the smaller everything is, the better. And I still believe that. I, I like things to be small. I don't like them to be that big. You know, big headphones in the 90s used to be from the 80s. So I know they're trying to bring everything back. But I just don't like the styling. I even have the Sony PlayStation Pulse headphones. And I don't... I rarely use them because they cancel everything out. I can't hear anything. And... The audio is really good, but uh, the the cloth started uh, tearing itself apart, and you know it was it was a mess. So I barely use them. Uh, I use them when I don't have a choice. So I prefer using my in ear headphones. So if you guys want to go for it, it's uh, as I stated, five hundred and forty nine dollars. That it's more than a PlayStation Five. Uh, it starts shipping on December the 15th, so if you guys want to grab one, I'm pretty sure they're going to be more available than the PlayStation 5, or it's going to be easier to get than the PlayStation 5. So, And if you actually think about it, it's the PlayStation 5 almost plus a controller. So instead of waiting to get those things, which you probably will not be able to get anyways because there's no way to get them, uh, go ahead and grab uh, the AirPods Studio. AirPods Max, not Studio. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button right below me. Also, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you can receive notifications. We are also available on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, YouTube at J.R. Abrams Tech so you can get the latest news and rumors about tech. Later.